Hey guys, welcome back to Ken Cinema Sofa. If it's your first time here, I'm your brother Ken, a missionary of 12 years living in Japan. But this channel is all about exploring my other passion, awesome cinema. So first guys, I just want to say right away a very, very Merry Christmas to you and God bless you from Tokyo. Had a great Christmas party you know just finished everyone left we had you know plenty of good food played lots of games where we could talk about the true meaning of christmas uh we used pictionary to uh you know draw some uh elements of, of christmas uh the shepherds and the star in the sky but now listen everybody left they all enjoyed my stuffing and cranberry sauce. Two things that are very hard to find in Tokyo. Give your boy his props. Anyway, uh, I'm glad to get into this movie, Claws. I'm an artist. I love animation. I'll be honest, you know, American animation for a while was not my thing. I preferred the Japanese animation. Every time I saw something animated in America, it was just always funny. You know, like, seemed like it was always a comedy geared towards kids. I don't have a problem with that, but it seemed like all animation was like that. Whereas in Japan, animation has genres just like, you know, live action movies. You have horror, you have action. It's really just a medium to tell a story, just like, just like live action. At the same time, I'm really excited because I've seen the ratings for this movie is pretty high. I've tried not to look too much into it, but I've heard that it has a very unique uh, art style, and I really like that. Um, when they don't just do a straight up CG animated film, but they make use of different aesthetics. I really want to see uh, Princess Kaguya, Kaguya Hime. So anyway, without further ado, Klaus. That's all I know about it. I don't know the director or anything. Okay, <laughs> let's get it. Got my cocoa, my cocoa as they say in Japan and marshmallows. Letters. You don't really write many these days, do you? I don't. One you never forget. I never believed in Santa Claus, guys. I think it's, you know, because my mom was a pastor or deacon at the time. <laughs> Some thin legs. Royal Postal Academy. <laughs> this is a cadet? Can I get you something to drink? An espresso, a cappuccino. Aren't you supposed to be in equestrian training? Hmm? What? No croutons? Oh, man, come on. Shall we take account of your progress, then? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shorting and filing. Total <laughs> failure. Stay right where you are. No, Dad. You're right. Ah, uh, Dad. When will I grow up? When will I... Stop squandering all these opportunities. I can't tell whether this is computer or it looks like it might be computer, but done in a way to make it look like it's 2D. Congratulations. You are now a postman. Come oh. Establish a working postal office in Smirensburg. Smirensburg. You've got one year. 6,000 letters. One year. Can't cheat, bribe, or squirm your way out of this one. Well, what's a papa to do when a kid gets like this? I don't know. Remember I said, Daddy, can I help you mail the letter? Can I help you put the medals in the letter? That is so creepy. Can you believe what the... Burkhardt, I'm not in the... Oh. I'm all for discipline, but... Mirensburg. That boy needs a wake-up call, Sergeant. Mm. Someday, he might even thank me for it. Yeah. This is beautiful though, wow. So is this supposed to be like a fictional world? Because I'm pretty sure there's no Smearinsburg. What was that? New postman, Smearinsburg. The boat to get to which you have. Are we starting to connect the dots? <laughs> He's a charmer. Charming, huh? Why, you should see it in the spring. That's when those grays really pop. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, snap. That is creepy. You just ring the bell over there and uh, and then the reception. Oh, that's Norm Macdonald, isn't it? 
Oh! <laughs> Is somebody still in there? <laughs> I'm hearing that rock music from the beginning of Gangs of New York. Five points gang fight. Are these like two tribes fighting each other? <laughs> oh, the smell. Fresh out of mackerel. Only herring and burbot today. My lord, it looked like that fish was talking. Welcome to Smeary's Bird, home of the world's finest few. Uh, the crumbs versus the yelling bows. So, are you going to buy something, or are you just here to chit chat? Isn't this a school? You're the teacher? Okay, here's how it works. I sell uh, it, and then the person on the other That's person, her, right? Holy moly. That's you? What happened? Yeah. Well, lots of nice natural light. Brush the central. <laughs> My father put you up to this? Good one. Ha ha. You got me. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder about that father, man. This, this is a bit much. He could have died a couple times already. I don't know, I would take whatever is back home, get a job, get your own job, you know, man up. I take that over this. Did she come out just to do that to a, a feuding family's clothes? No letters, but how am I supposed to get out of What the? Hello, sir, can I get my drawing back? I could mail it. You. How? Couldn't be simpler. I just fold your pretty drawing. I think this is Jason Swartzman, right? Something about this reminds me of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda. Do you guys know that game? I love that game series, especially the newest one, Breath of the Wild. You say warm. And if, I, if I'm getting farther from the nail, you say cold. Does someone live there? Well, sure. Yeah, you should definitely drop by. Nice fella. Loves visitors. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Claws. It's like a slasher movie all of a sudden. <laughs> so are they kind of explaining the way that Santa Claus is so quiet and nimble and is able to, you know, get in your house and bend bars? <laughs> oh! Man, this is uh, darker than I thought. Uh, I wish I had a toy like that when I was a kid. Can they make any toys like that now? 21st century? <laughs> That's beautiful, though. Obviously, he's seeing something is warming him. You get a glimpse of maybe the man he was before. So this is how the legend began, as they're saying in this film. Our cousin told us if we write a letter to Mr. Klaus, he'll make us a toy. He also said to bring you a penny each. Hey, hey, you, you want a toy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's coming off as like a drug dealer or something. Think of all the joy you'll bring their miserable little lives. <laughs> it's a sign. 
Now, it's important to note that Santa Claus actually comes from a festival called Sinterklaas. And Sinterklaas actually comes from St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas. Which, as you may know, St. Nick is the nickname for Santa Claus. And St. Nicholas was a real person. St. Nicholas of Myra, also known as Nicholas of Bari, was actually a Greek Christian bishop. Now, this was actually during the Roman Empire. St. Nicholas is the patron saint of sailors, merchants, archers, repentant thieves, children, and unmarried people. So there were many legends about St. Nicholas, and one of them uh, revolved around Nicholas giving the wealth of his parents, who had eventually died, giving that wealth to the poor. And in one legend, there was a man who was poor because of, you know, his problems with gambling. And so he didn't have any money to get his daughters married. So St. Nicholas was known to go to the windows of these daughters at night and throw a bag of gold through their window secretly. He didn't want anyone to know publicly that he was helping them. And that gave rise to the image of St. Nicholas giving gifts to the needy. So are they from two opposite feuding families? Well, look, one place looks really warm. Glorious hatred. Maritime game of chicken. The great morning of 86. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's an animation, but this explains a lot of the wars and the, the hatred between humans. That right there reminds me of Zelda. The chickens running after him. Six thousand. From here, she saw me. A single more night, dragging the sewers. I don't know, she's dressed like a... She's Swedish? No letter, no toy. But we don't know how to write. Ah, perfect. <laughs> nice. Isn't that why we do it? Mm -hmm. Why you became a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> the intense look, the palpitation of the heart, the whimpering and the soiling of the pants. No, I can't relate. <laughs> This guy shows up at all the best times for me. Not so convenient for him. No one has ever seen him. It's like he's invisible or something. Oh, and he likes cookies. Don't oh my me. lord, come on. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and just, I don't know, write vowels or something? You don't have no book. Uh, Did he say we don't have no book? That's my boy. That's my boy. Man, I hate that. I cannot stand that. I wonder, will they go as far as to explain Rudolph? Because I had to do that a week ago at another Christmas party. <laughs> we don't like this. We don't like each other. He checks it twice. Naughty list, he calls it. You lie. Trust me. Oh, snap. Mic drop. <laughs> That's what you get. And yesterday, instead of stealing Mrs. Runa's berries, he picked them off for her. He came to our house later, and she brought Mom lots of berry jam. I can do some good too. What is going on here? Miss Alva is the best teacher ever. Also, I cleaned my dad's old. What in the world? That's a clarinet? What kind of clarinet is that? I played a clarinet in grade school. They're black, aren't they? Or maybe they're saying all clarinets are just dirty. We should be cleaning them. I like this though because it's gonna take the new generation to stamp out the hatred against their fellow man, you know? A true selfless act always sparks another. Those kids are in it for the toys and the grown-ups. Well, I don't know what they're after, but it sure is not goodwill and peace on earth. I like that. Goodwill and peace on earth. That is the message that the angels 
um, gave to the shepherds when they appeared to them in the fields to announce the birth of Jesus Christ, right? They said that, hurry up, the Son of God, the Messiah has been born nearby in the town. Go see him. Next, a whole host of angels appeared, singing, glory to God and goodwill towards men and peace on earth. Amen. <laughs> oh Lord, I knew it. <laughs> Here we go. I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A flying sleigh pulled by magical reindeer? Yep. Is this where the ho-ho comes from? Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Really? That's how you laugh? What are you saying? I'm saying it's time to join forces against a common enemy. The Can they even do this without stabbing each other? <laughs> I thought so. This is going to take a lot of work. gonna get that many toys you make new ones oh wait great. don't touch that impeccably organized for you no. class i'm sorry i i, I didn't get out okay so obviously this girl is important in some way <laughs> wow, is that this girl's town? This is where they live? I really like, yeah, this, the ethnic feel of this movie, you know? And I like that they didn't translate what the girl was saying. I really like that. It gives, it lends an air of authenticity. We wanted children. Lots of them. And we kept waiting, but they never came. Hey, you know what? We're doing it. What? You're doing what? The Christmas thing. Man, dude, he suddenly changed on me. I'm sorry. He almost freaked me out. Now he's starting to sound more like, you know, Spider-Man. You know what? No homework. Am I the best teacher ever or what? <laughs> you are. You are. If that's the metric, I'm a great teacher. Someone would have to be pretty stupid to want to leave this place now. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. Wow, starting to look like Christmas Town. <laughs> That's slightly less creepy now. I've just spent like the whole month explaining to people in Japan the meaning of that star. That the Magi were people that were not Jewish, they were foreigners. And yet God showed them the star, the light of his son's birth first before anyone in Israel. The international message of God's love for the world. <laughs> so are these supposed to be like Santa's elves? Is that where? Oh, okay. They insisted, and I didn't want to be rude. Nice. Hello, Jesper. Yeah. Yeah. What? <clears throat> Sorry. Let's um. Let's talk outside. It's a little dazed and 
Hansel. 14,000 letters out of Smearinsburg? Well, I had to come and see it for myself. Dad, you can't just show up and... Wait, what? A deal's a deal. The ordeal is over. Oh, so that's what... They, okay. The personal butler and the breakfast in bed. <laughs> no one deserves it more. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Cloud? So you could get back to your puffed up life back in the big town. Something like that? No, no. Well, at first, may maybe. Huh. Just listen, I. Everybody's out to get something, right? I never saw a postman looking more miserable leaving than on the day they came in. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Oh. I think I may have missed my book. <laughs> well, well. Isn't this convenient? How long until children go back to the old ways once there are no toys to bribe them with? Ha! <laughs> 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 ha! Eat our snow, you... They're not attached. Why are they... <laughs> oh, I would never in a million years have done what I just... Exactly. <laughs> plotting to form an angry mob, then, you know. I told you! I told you he would come! Mom, come here, quick! As for Alva and I? Well, what did you expect? Of course she loves me. We did have to expand the operation, just like we had planned. More children, more toys. I'm coming, love. Hmm, so he was taken away? <laughs> All right. I've got two urgent deliveries here, Postmaster, sir. Good night. What I do know is that once a year, I get to see my friend. Okay, guys, that was Klaus. And uh, what can I say? I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I didn't know if I would, but... I liked it. Uh, yeah, I just thought, wow, you know, being a Christian and knowing the, the true history of Santa Claus, Santa Claus, or St. Nicholas, I was just a little bit wary about whether I would like this or not. Um, but yeah, I really did. The animation style was great, beautiful. It was darker than I thought it would be, but I thought that was well balanced with, you know, lighter tones and of the story. And, um, just, you know, I, I like the character that they made for Klaus or Claus, you know, Santa Claus. Seeing a character that obviously had some kind of pain and trauma in their past or losing someone and that made them cold, right, and, and hard and stone-like in their heart and then seeing them come alive again, that's always a beautiful thing to see. The animation style, as I said, I love it because, you know, it reminds me of Zelda in its kind of simple shapes, but the details and attention to kind of like uh, a, a culture that resonates in the, in the design, no matter how simple it looks in that ethnic look. Um, if you've seen Breath of the Wild, it kind of reminds me of that Zelda, Breath of the Wild. As far as the story, uh, I love that even though it had darker tones, more mature tones, it dealt with themes of, um, you know, joy and, and wonder. And um, I thought it was so beautiful in Klaus's love for his wife. And, you know, just seeing how, as he said, one good work um, creates another, you know. It doesn't show that he started out stony in any way in his heart. Um, but obviously his wife had a very profound effect on his heart and on his nature, right? To the point where her loss, a loss of someone like that, that is filled with such light, right? Brings light into people's lives. I mean, you know, it brings hurt and it causes people to shut down and, 
and switch off and disconnect from the world and you just want to be alone and separated and you know a lot of missionaries you know um, deal with that we go through through that uh, being overseas and teaching about the love of God in places where people um, they don't even know how to pronounce your God's name right let alone uh, you know adopt or you even just warm up to his ideals and you can feel alone you know and you can feel like not wanting to share the gospel or, or even if you're not a missionary you may feel just like you know not wanting to uh, share goodness with people especially when you are around the world and you especially when you live in other countries where the ideal of good right the culture of good doesn't look the same as the country you come from uh but but anyway back to the ship but anyway back to the animation uh i also liked the ethnic tones um i really felt like this felt like a fable i really liked that this felt like a fable it felt like a legend and it's not just because of the snowy winds blowing through the forest, right? That lent that fable-like character to the story as well. But it was just, it, it, it felt like the movie really broke down kind of the archetypes that we deal with in the best fables, you know, dealing with human nature, right and wrong. And they really, I feel, personified that through the two you know warring tribes right i mean that was just crazy that was just so wild seeing them go at each other and just seeing you know some people punching each other you know um it was funny but at the same time it's it's quite scary when you think about that because there are feuds that last ages and ages of time between families you know was it the hatfields and the mccoys is one famous uh feud uh, back in the States, in the United States. And it's funny because I believe now that they meet up every year, the Hatfields and McCoys, and kind of just, you know, hug and share, you know, with each other and just have a cookout. You know, it's wild. But the entire world, the warring world that we have today, you know, even in Ukraine and Russia, those are people that, you know, we're related. They're, we're all from the same place, guys. You know, whether you believe the Bible or not, Science shows that we're all connected by DNA. There's only a, a small percentage of difference in DNA um, amongst all humans. And yet we find ways to hurt and cut each other and shoot each other up, you know. So I like that even though the things that we deal with in this world, what I just talked about, they're incredibly complex. They wear a veil of complexity of politics and all of that. But this movie shows, it really does come back down to this movie and the Bible shows clearly that it really comes back down to a very elemental thing, the human heart. The human heart is, what does the word of God say? The human heart is impossibly evil. Who can know it? Book of Jeremiah 17, nine through 10 says, the human heart is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who really knows how bad it is? And it's interesting because when we hear something like that, we think, well, not everybody is wicked and evil. But that term of wicked and evil, the metric, the scale that it's dealing with is not compared to other humans on the earth. If we compare ourselves to other humans, of course, there's a lot of so-called good people in the world. We're talking about, as the Bible is teaching, where God is on the other end of the scale, right? So because he exists, he becomes the, the standard. And so compared to him and his all-encompassing light and goodness and perfection, we are evil. And you see that in this story. It's not just evil of just wanting to murder people, but there's all kinds of evil. Want, being jealous of others, wanting to hurt others physically, even when someone does something good, doing good back. We saw the little scene of doing good back, not necessarily because she wanted to, but because I can't let that person outdo me in doing good, right? 
So there's all kinds of different types of, of bad and evil in people's hearts. It's not simply always a, a serial killer, all right? <laughs> so this is what the Bible teaches, that anything that is falls below the standard, the lofty standard of God is considered evil because he himself is good. He's not good as in he adopted goodness in his personality, but goodness has adopted God's character. And so he is the standard. So when we fall below that, which all humans do, which is why the birth of the Savior in this season is so special that he's willing to give his own son so that we can be reconnected, reconciled with God, right? Hark the, ang hark the herald angels sing. Don't have me sing it, okay? <laughs> but that's the point. Unless we are perfected on good standing with him, made perfect with him, we all fall short of that. And so I like that this movie showed the different types of bad uh, at, at work in people's hearts. I mean, even in the main character, right? I mean, it, it, it seems simple because it's animation, but the more I'm thinking about it, it goes pretty deep. We see all of the, the, the human condition, all the shades of bad and wickedness in the human condition, in the human heart on display in this film. And gradually, did you see, gradually as the art gradually as the light entered from one good act as klaus said you saw light enter that world right whereas before everything was gray i think even the boatman said that right talked about the gray and how oh it's going to be a different shade of gray on a, on a nicer day so anyway guys that may be more than what you bargained for when you clicked on this video if you liked my reaction, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you're free to give me a thumbs down. But I do hope that you'll join us on the sofa. Consider like and subscribing. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I drop more stuff, man. Come on. Let's do it. Let's make this channel awesome. Signing off from Tokyo. God bless you wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next time on the sofa.